The term Brooklyn bagel carries a weight, a certain connotation, so much so that you'll find Brooklyn bagel shops all across the U.S. But I'm sorry, y'all. There's nothing quite like getting a wheat bracelet right here in the BK. What's good, bro? It's Louis Gusto. Today, I'm taking you around New York City's most populated borough to eat seven classic foods. Starting our day at Nickabaco Bagel, a staple of the Bushwick community. This is the luxury bagel sandwich, which is smoked salmon, tomato, onion, caper, and scallion cream cheese. We got it on a sesame seed bagel. My apologies to all the pizza pies out there, but in my opinion, the bagel is the most quintessentially famous New York City food. And yeah, you can get bagels all over Manhattan, but the best of the best can be found right here in Brooklyn. I were eating one last breakfast before I leave this rock, I would choose a Brooklyn bagel. When we moved from Chicago to Brooklyn earlier this year, the food I was most hype about was the bagel. Cause you know, you could get great pizza anywhere across the United States, but you can't get a great bagel outside of New York City. You could put me on record as saying that one. That bagel was super chewy, lightly toasted. All the ingredients inside the sandwich were nice from the salmon, the scallion cream cheese to the onion. I'm still hungry and that's a good thing cause we got six more classic Brooklyn foods to eat. So let's go. G is for Greenpoint, and also the name of the train that brought us over from Bushwick. This morning we had our donut order locked and loaded, but because the New York City Marathon is happening right in front of the shop, Peter Pan was sold out of almost everything. Red velvet, sour cream glaze, chocolate cake, but they still had some of the old favorites, like the Boston cream pie. Ah, the donut. Something so classically, epically American that Duncan has turned into straight rubbish. Thankfully, family-run spots like Peter Pan Donuts have been keeping that tradition alive, bringing us sugar rings that satisfy the taste buds as well as the mental well-being. These are homemade donuts made fresh every single morning. chocolatey, the inside is creamy, the donut is chewy, crispy, everything you want out of a donut. Mm. Oh yeah. Last bite, y'all. Say goodbye to the Boston cream pie. This is the apple crumb donut, and I think it intimidates most people because there are plenty left, even though it's one of their signature donuts. Yo, this is like if you took an apple pie and mutated it into a donut. It is incredible. Lewis likes the fancy complicated donuts, but I prefer the classics like this French cruller. Back in the 90s, when Fila was one of the trendiest brands around, Anthony and Son started serving up some of the best sandwiches in all of Brooklyn, right here at their Williamsburg location. They got a sandwich menu a mile long, but real ones know to go for the FDNY chicken cutlet, fresh mozzarella, vodka sauce, all on a garlic hero. First off, this bread is positively incredible with a nice garlic flavor. That chicken cutlet is tender and juicy. Fresh mozzarella is melting up to perfection and that vodka sauce brings it all together. Yo, honestly, I thought this sandwich was gonna be super, super messy, but my hands are relatively clean considering there's vodka sauce and fresh mozzarella spilling out the sides. When it comes to bagels, sandwiches, and pizza, Brooklyn definitely has its own twist, but there's no need to remix a Jamaican classic. At Kingston Bakery Brooklyn, they serve up some of the best Jamaican patties in all of New York City. You can go vegan, but of course we wanted some beef today, and because I'm a real one, I know to get the spicy beef and some cocoa bread to wrap it and hold it nice. 
I am one of the only New York City YouTubers that's gonna put a Jamaican beef patty on an iconic Brooklyn food list. But it's because I know there's a huge Caribbean population in New York City and Brooklyn, especially Jamaican. So I knew it wouldn't be too difficult to find an authentic patty like this one. So far today, we've had a Brooklyn bagel, old-fashioned donuts, an Italian hero, and a Jamaican beef patty, but we're not done yet. And if you're wondering how I know about all these classic Brooklyn food spots, hey, I know a guy. And if you subscribe, maybe I'll introduce you to my guy. Another classic Brooklyn food you were not expecting to see in this film is the key lime pie for two reasons. It's a dessert more associated with the Florida Keys than any other place in the United States. And number two, well, actually, I didn't have a number two. We are out in Red Hook, Brooklyn, the home of Ikea. They've delivered us a piece of furniture or two since moving to New York City, but we're not here for furniture today. We are here to pay a visit to Steve's authentic key lime pie. When you're talking authentic and key lime pies, you gotta be using the juice from real key limes, which they do. And they're located right on the water so that those fresh boatloads of key limes can be delivered safely and soundly. We're right in the park and pier named after another Lewis. Because it's just the two of us today, we didn't want to get a full key lime pie like the 14 inch one thankfully they have the little personal size serving so i can devour this and not get too full and have to throw away the rest The very first time I had a key lime pie was when my parents took us to the Florida Keys. It's not just the name, this is the real deal. This little key lime tart is just like me. In New York City by way of Florida and super sour. Cheers. Steve's out here in Red Hook doing a Brooklyn twist on a Florida classic with the Swingle. This is their small key lime tart frozen and then dipped in Belgian dark chocolate. <laughs> Man, just leave it to Brooklynites to take an old classic, put a completely new spin on it, and make it something that's incredibly delicious, mouth-watering, and something you have to try. Obviously, the graham cracker crust and chocolate, that's a perfect match, but you wouldn't think that the chocolate goes well with the key lime. It totally does, and it's really opening up my eyes onto all the possibilities that you can get from just a little piece of citrus. So many times when we create these iconic food films, we visit restaurants that have been open for decades or even centuries. But every once in a while, we visit a spot that has only recently caused a social media sensation. Peckin House is in that category. You could get fried chicken all over Brooklyn, but if you consider yourself a food connoisseur, you have to see what the hype is about. So Alfredo said to come to Peckin House to catch a two-piece, the chili chicken with a side of cornbread. We also had some bone broth, but we didn't film that because that's not part of our classic Brooklyn foods list. So let's get into to some Sichuan style fried chicken. I could just smell all that chili oil aroma. As I'm currently in a lean bulking phase, this is pretty much my lunch and dinner every single day, a two-piece chicken, except I bake them with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. This one is crispy. The chili oil makes your tongue Oh, tingly and feels like carbonated water just bubbling up on my tongue. It's not the type of spice that's gonna put you down for the count. It's gonna make you wanna take another bite. Definitely glad we came to the pecking house. Bok bok. Of course pizza was gonna be on our classic Brooklyn food list. And truth be told, I could have taken y'all to pretty much any place around this borough and the pizza guaranteed would have been fire. But sometimes real ones gotta dig deep to find something a little bit more obscure like this hidden gem, Wizard Hat Pizza. It's for all you pizza wizards out there. I know y'all been waiting on this one. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Take out only pop-up pizza shop inside Chickadee Bread right here in Prospect Leffert Gardens. Let's get into this pizza pie, my friends. Oh my goodness, this is the spicy pepperoni. And it's getting cold, so I better eat. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
This is naturally leavened pizza, super chewy like the bagel we had earlier, the pepperoni and all the cheeses are on point. Little bit of spice on there, not too much because you don't want the pizza to be burning your tongue while you're trying to enjoy the pie. It's got tomato, mozzarella, aged provolone, pecorino romano, pickled chili, Sicilian oregano, and pepperoni. With a name like Wizard Hat, you gotta figure that cooking up some magical spells and giving you a pizza fit for a wizard. <laughs> so how do I know about a place like Wizard Hat Pizza, something that don't even have a sign out front? And like I said earlier, I know a guy. Hey, maybe that guy's me, maybe he's not. I can't really talk about it right now because I got to eat some pizza. Peace.